Hello brothers and sisters, we welcome you all back to the Sons of God channel. In today's video, we will be sharing with you all, an old message from last year which many people did not listen to. We do know that this message was given at exactly same season last year, and the instructions can be applied also this year. This message was given to Gisela Cardia. In the message, we will be sharing the dates of the message. Let us now go into the message. Message from Our Lady My daughter, thank you for having responded to my call. Beloved, I feel how much bitterness and loneliness there is in your heart concerning this world and for all that is going wrong. My children, know that this season will be difficult. The pandemic has been the excuse for making you accustomed to what will come. And if you are not strong in faith, you will not be able to survive. So great will be the pain that will be seen, even around you. Only those who will have a living and solid faith will be protected by my angels. I ask you to bring souls to God. Speak of him to those who do not know him. You will soon see fire coming down from heaven. It will be the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and some who are sick will be healed. The warning is near. Be ready. But for those who will not bend their knees acknowledging God, they will have eternal damnation. Pray for Syria, because war will begin from there. Pray for the church, where they will soon announce the single religion and support for transhumanism, crucifying Jesus Christ once again. I leave you now with my maternal blessing. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. October 26, 2021 Dear daughter, thank you for having responded to my call in your heart. My children, I ask you to listen to the true prophets of this end times, for they are my messengers, and as such, they will be your guide. I want to save all my children, and that is why I am still touching the earth. There is none more blind than he who does not want to see, and despite the signs of the times foretold, even those who have faith refuse to look at what is happening. My children, the times are hard, the whole earth continues to be covered by darkness. I ask you to pray much and conversion is urgent. I also ask you to stay at home in prayer on the feast of Satan and to light a blessed candle. Unfortunately, the satanic sects will perform monstrous rites, but do not be afraid. My angels are numerous, and will be more with you as time goes by, everything is set for the final battle. Now I bless you, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. That is the end of the first message. Brothers and sisters, before we go into the next message, let us thank Our Lady on the comment session for this message, and let us give this video a like so that we can help the video reach out to others. God bless you all. If we have done this, let us now go to the next message. This message was given on the 3rd of September, 2021. My dear children, thank you for having responded to my call in your hearts. My beloved children, today my son is with you, in agony but full of love for everyone. My children, many ask for signs, but what signs do you want when from the mouth of some comes smoke and not the word of God? Furthermore, you ask and ask without ever giving thanks for all that you have. Pray for the church that is tasting its martyrdom. Pray, my children, 
because the world is enveloped by darkness and you must be recognizable as shining lights going forward in the truth of God's word. My children, you are not in a time where you are allowed to lose yourself in frivolous things, for the Son of Man is going to be with you. I ask you to carry your cross with love for your purification on earth. If you carry it with joy, you will have great rewards. But if you carry it with despair, you will not be able to experience the promised joy. Pray concerning volcanoes. Now I leave you with my maternal blessing, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The eruption continues, with high lava effusion rates and strong ash emissions. Lava flows continue to advance at various fronts, in particular along the northern margin of the existing flow field, continuing to threaten La Laguna. According to the latest figure, lava has so far covered 742 hectares, damaged or destroyed 1,058 buildings, out of which 854 were residential. Volcanic tremor, as an indicator of magma flux, remains high and has increased a bit compared to the previous days. Most notably, lava advance has been occurring at three lava flow fronts. Among these, two active fronts remain south of La Laguna, which are likely to merge and could soon reach the sea as well. One of these lava flows surpassed the mountain of La Laguna yesterday and was reported to be fed by a channel where lava flows at speed of 1,300 m per hour. At 11.00 Canarian time the lava flow that surpassed the mountain of La Laguna yesterday continues to be fed by lava that flows at 1,300 m h. Continued ash emissions, airport effective. At the vent, activity remains dominated by lava effusion with less explosions than before, although it still generates a plume rising to 4,000 m altitude. Today, some ash fall reached the airport, affecting operations and the airspace between La Palma, La Gamera and the north of Tenerife. New Vent Southeast of Combe Yesterday, a new vent was reported to have appeared 300 to 300 m southeast of the main cone yesterday afternoon. According to new information, it was apparently an older vent active early on in the eruption that was reactivated, but decreased its activity again total. It mainly emitted gas and ash, but apparently no or little lava flows. Gas emissions, seismic activity, ground deformation sulfur dioxide emissions were measured at 2,882 tons per day, considerably lower than on previous days. On the other hand, Seismic activity increased again in the number and average size of quakes, clustered in two areas, 10 to 15 kilometers, as well as 35 to 40 kilometers, below the volcano. The strongest so far quake was a widely felt magnitude 4.5 event early this morning. As to the quakes in the shallower group, a weak trend is becoming visible in that they tend to migrate to the northwest, i.e. closer to the current eruptive centers. Ground inflation observed in the past days decreased again to the levels observed since the start of the eruption. New high-resolution satellite images of Spain's La Palma Island reveal lava rivers spilling from the island's Cumbervieja volcano as its devastating eruption shows no signs of stopping nearly a month after it began.